Thank you so much, uh, Quentin Peel, and I'm really happy to represent the European Union, or in a rather modest uh, way, to represent the European Parliament. And I think when we look into the future, we have to be totally clear what are our principles. And it's my experience, my political experience, that normally you can give an answer to political challenges when you know what your principles are. And Thierry de Montbrial has spoken about the need of state action in this world. I agree. And he has spoken about the cooperation between states. I agree. But there is a third element, at least as far as the European Union is concerned. There is the communitarian action. And this is based on the decisions of the European Parliament and the Council and the Commission and it's a complex system, but the European Parliament is very strong in this context. And I have the honor, if you allow me to say that, that I'm a member since the very first election, 1979, one of five survivors. And in 1979 and many years through the 80s, the early 90s, the European Parliament had no, zero legislation power. Now we are at 75 percent of European legislation, which is is co-decided by the Council and the European Parliament, and with the Lisbon Treaty, we would have the co-legislative power up to almost 100 percent. So this is a communitarian element. And giving answers to the challenges, it's important to describe the values we have. And the values of the European Union are the dignity of the human being, the human rights, democracy, legal order, peace, freedom, and, and this is very important, the principles of solidarity and subsidiarity. And I think, the, and I say this with some self-confidence, but not with arrogance, with self-confidence, and you only can go into the future if you know what you are representing and what your values are. The European Union has been very successful. If somebody would have told me in 1979 that today, the 6th of October 2008, the President of Estonia, Thomas Hendrik Ilves, representing, representing a free Estonia, would be here and his country would be member of the European Union, a union of values, since the 1st of May 2004, my answer would have been, this will not happen in our lifetime. It has happened. And it has happened because we, and I say it with all modesty, have principles and values in the European Union. And so, although I see all the challenges, the problems we are in in the European Union, and it's very difficult to keep the European Parliament together, all political groups, I was chairman of a political group for seven and a half years. I really can tell you, it's a great achievement. If, and if there is a purgatory, then you have it behind you after seven and a half years leader of a political group in the European Parliament because there are so different political cultures and opinions. But we are based on values. And now what are the challenges we are facing? And I only can mention them in these 10 minutes. First, climate change. We have to give an answer to climate change, to reduce CO2, to have a project for the renewable energy. And the European Parliament is part of that. And we are not only making suggestions. We are deciding the CO2 reduction. And this is of greatest importance for our car industry, for instance, to find the right balance between those countries who produce big cars and those who produce smaller cars. And we, the European Parliament, are part of this legislation. And now looking to Georgia, and I want to be very frank. You have to defend the principles, and the President of Russia will be here the day after tomorrow. Even if you assume, and I always say it, I say it before, said it before the European Council, that the President of Georgia has made a great mistake by his military action against Shinvali. But this did not justify the invasion to mainland Georgia and to recognize unilaterally South Ossetia and Abkhazia. And what are the consequences from our side? 
The consequences from our side are, and of course we want to have a stable partnership with Russia. Russia is an important country in its western part, a European country. We need a good relation with Russia in the 21st century. But we must have consequences out of this crisis. And the first one is the European Union has to develop a neighborhood policy. And secondly, we need energy diversification. And I'm very much in favor of building Nabucco, the south line, uh, the pipeline, so that we are less independent. And I think we have to take the necessary decisions.